Fresh blooming onions. Hot, fresh blooming onions. Wonderful. Love the onions down here because they're so sweet. They're not real hot like the ones we get up north. Seven dollars. Hot, fresh blooming onions. Yeah, it's a fun tradition for for everybody to come um, with their family and friends. I like the atmosphere. I like the uh, the vendors. They've got a lot of good items. Uh, the food is very well prepared. The music is excellent. Uh, you meet a lot of people, especially winter tourists who are new to the area. And just anything and everything is what attracts me to this place. They have good food. They have good drinks. They have like everything's awesome here. Uh, we celebrate here in Wessico uh, due to the fact that uh, it was developed at our own USDA Research Center here uh, and, uh, and they had named it appropriately the 1015 Onion uh, because that is the suggested planting date, uh, October 15th, uh, and harvested around March. So that's why we always say we've got the, the best tasting blossoms uh, in, in the valley because uh, this is when they're, when they're getting them out of the ground and we're frying them right up. It's something we celebrate here in Wessico. Wessico is still a very big agricultural town. People all over the world eat onions mainly because they're sweet and they were developed right here in Wessico because of that. that has been happening and you know, going on here in Western for a long time and uh, we're very proud of the Onion Fest. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce in, in partnership with the uh, City of Wessico and, and all of the partners uh, have, uh, have always contributed to, to the Onion Fest and it's become a, a regional uh, wide event and we're happy. The Onion Festival is the reason I stay until the end of March because it is just the best. We come and we listen to music that we can't believe all these people we've never heard of are so amazing. I'm thrilled. The entertainment's great. Um, the kids' rides is so awesome that the kids get to do that for free. Um, parking is easy. The horse uh, dancing show was entertaining. I've certainly never seen that before. Food is great. Obviously, onion blossom is very important. And we have two things going on. One, we have our onion eating contest, which is always a big event. We had that earlier, and, and it, it was a great turnout, a lot of fun. Uh, maybe, you know, a little some sick stomachs here, but, you know, they get a little eat too much. But we had some winners and losers, uh, but they, well, they all had fun no matter what. Onion! Eat your onions! Eat your onions! Eat your onions! The onion contest, it was okay. It was my first time really eating a handful of raw onions. It was a lot of fun, but it didn't taste good. <laughs> I still have onion breath, but it was an experience that I will never forget for sure. One, two, three! It was like, like when I would eat them the first time, I would just like spit them out because I don't think they would taste good. But the second time I ate them, they are sweet, but then when I swallowed them, they started getting spicier and spicier. But then when I drank my drink, like it tasted more spicy. Five, Did like sweet and sour at the same time, so it's a combination, gross, but it was fun. <laughs> seen this horse event before and it's amazing. Chemicals puts this event on, does a great job. The city compliments it with in-kind service coming out here. The employees, the volunteers, I mean, we can't say so much about our volunteers that are coming here to help out and make this uh, event a, a success. I think it's wonderful. I think so many people have come 
I love looking at the crowds. I love being involved. I love being Miss Wasako. It's just so much fun. I love to look around and see all the people here. It's, it's amazing. You know, you don't realize how big of a population that we are until you see an event like this. And it's so much fun meeting all the people in Wasako. We have, uh, we couldn't do any of this without our volunteers. We have almost 300 volunteers. Uh, we have uh, to thank for the organizing the event. Uh, we have chamber staff. We have the city, uh, who we can't thank enough for their cooperation and help and get this event going. Uh, as far as who's in attendance, what we found or have seen in the last few years is that the event is growing and people across the valley are noticing and they're coming out because they know uh, or heard that it's a great event. And so we're getting more and more people from all over the valley, which is great. You know, being able to bring all of those folks that come here to be a part of the culture, to come and see what West Laco has to offer, and they don't come back, you know, for no reason. They obviously they like what they see and what they uh, have to do, and it can be a part of when they come down to the valley and specifically West Laco. When you walk around the, this Onion Fest, everyone's going to say hello to you. I love it. West Laco has that that home. Uh, feel that hometown, that you know, family atmosphere, which is one of the things that attracted me to it, and it's a, it's a great place to be, man. So I can see why people would like to come down and be a part of that. The West Coast something to be proud about. Uh, the Texas Onion Festival was the uh, best one-day festival in Texas, and uh, that's something West Coast uh, certainly is uh, can hang their hat on. We came to see the music, love it. Saw Bo Garza last year and had so much fun that we came back again. I got haven't been here, I encourage you to at least come next year, but don't miss it. Um, there is so much to see, so much to enjoy, and uh, I guarantee you, you'll want to come back next year. I'm just making so many new memories, and Onion Fest is on the top of my list. I'm grateful for all the citizens, all the participants here that make the, uh, the, the Onion Fest a success. God bless Westlake and God bless everybody out there.